Partners enter into prenuptial and postnuptial agreements all the time. But what happens if one of the agreed-upon provisions states that the trial court can no longer preside over certain matters? Is that a stipulation the courts will uphold? The Minnesota case of Karen v. Karen examines this very question. Howard and Freema Karen divorced in 1981. Prior to obtaining their divorce decree, the couple executed a stipulation, the terms of which the trial court incorporated into its judgment and dissolution decree. The decree provided Freema with temporary maintenance payments in specified amounts from Howard for a period of 10 years. The decree, as well as the judgment and stipulation, stated that both parties agreed to waive any rights to any other maintenance and also that the trial court was divested of jurisdiction to modify the award or agreement. In 1985, Freema petitioned the court to increase her maintenance award and to make it permanent. Although Howard objected, the trial court reconsidered the maintenance matter and ultimately increased the award and made it permanent. On appeal, the appellate court affirmed the lower court's determinations. Howard appealed, and the state Supreme Court agreed to review the case. 